Force members speed to the far reaches of the Sarbillion Galaxy with their highly specialized vehicles moving from planet to planet to assist those in need. Always ready to come to the rescue, these young heroes will do whatever it takes. Together, they are DNA Integrated Cybernetic Enterprises, commonly known as DICE. This is the story of Jet and his teenage teammates and the adventures they have as members of DICE. This wormhole is Yasutake Gate. It appears only once every 29 years and remains open for a mere 11 hours. On top of that, it's an extremely small wormhole with a diameter of only 120 feet or so. On the other end is the uninhabited planet of Yasutake, on the edge of the frontier. Our mission is to collect data from the observation posts on the planet's surface and replace their power units. Since the wormhole is so small, we'll be going in the Hydus. I needed one other person to come to the planet with me. So we drew lots for it. Jet, looks like it's you. Hmm. While we're doing that, the rest of you can go to Dice Zero to carry out routine maintenance on your dino breakers. We'll rendezvous back here in 10 hours. GTR! GTR. We're locked on the center point of the hole. Engage worm drive. <sighs> the maintenance team sure is lucky, because they get to kick back and relax at Dice Zero. But we're going to a planet that only appears every 29 years. It's the romance of space in a nutshell. I don't see it that way. I just want to get this job done as quick as possible. Huh? Well, with two of us on the planet, it shouldn't take that long. Remember, this wormhole emerges a great distance away, in fact, the very edge of space. We have to be very careful on this mission, or we could be cut off from everything and everyone we know for the next 29 years. Whatever. Dice Zero, also referred to as the nucleus of dice. For this massive station is where all DICE members must bring their dino breakers for regular maintenance. We're linked with the control tower. It takes my breath away every time I see this place. Ciao! how smoothly you bring us in. I aim to please. We'll go and unload the dino breakers. Okay, then we'll all meet up at the lounge. So, are you both ready? Oh, Gelati and Randolph, you'll be in charge of restocking our pellets. Yes, ma'am. That's a big GTR. Are you sure this is the edge of space? Take a look around. There aren't that many stars out there. So the romance of space means a lot of nothing, huh? Is that sarcasm? Uh... I feel sorry for Jet and Tack. What else could we do? There's no way we could have taken the fortress through a wormhole that small. 
And besides, performing regular maintenance on the Dino Breakers is one of our most important duties as members of DICE. They're not like regular machines, you know. They're much more than that. They're alive, mechanical life forms. Huh? Mm -hmm. We're over here, guys! Been waiting long? No, not really. Hmm? Hey, where did you get to, Mo? <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? That's Captain Spike from Dice E01. Captain Spike? Hey, isn't he the veteran pilot whose dino breaker is the Hover Incas? Yeah, all the women in Dice were asked to vote for the most eligible bachelor pilot, and he was number one. He's so dreamy. Huh? Why is he running around half naked? Stop! Are you all right, Robert? Coming huh? through. Huh? Ow! I give up. I've got you now, you little rascal. Finally. <sighs> it's Moak. I was just taking a shower when it scampered off with my favorite hat. Is this little guy your pet? Sure is. Uh, hi there, Captain Spike. It's an honor to meet you. We're from the DICE F-99 Fortress. A galactic coffee, please. Yes, sir. Right away. I see. You know, I've heard a lot of stories about the crew of F-99. Oh, really? What kind of stories? This hat cost me a whole month's salary. It was tailor-made for me. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Uh, uh, huh? No real stories. I've just heard that F-99 is the only fortress whose crew members, including the captain, are all children. You've got a pretty good reputation. That reminds me, I've got to get going. Ready, get set, go! Checking sensors. A-OK. -okay. Checking wings. A-OK. -okay. Hoverinkus taking off! One of the amazing things about Captain Spike's Hoverinkus is that it can fly in space itself. Awesome! Here we are, one galactic coffee. That'll be 20 credits, please. Oh. Though the oxygen content is low, the air is still breathable, but the temperature can vary wildly depending on the location. Retrieve the data from these posts. Then replace the data chip and put in a new power unit. And that's what needs to be done for each one. This map shows the location of the remaining 24 posts. Just pick a course. All right. How about we race and see which one of us can finish first? Sure. I'll say it again, Jack. We have to be finished and gone before the Yasutaki Gate closes, or we'll be stuck here for the next 29 years. I know. <laughs>
to go. I say, Gelati. I don't have any spare cash. You're not very smart, but maybe you what? know. Uh, what do you mean I'm not very smart, you metal moron? Well, you know how these pellets are an important source of energy for the dino breakers necessary for their diet. Yes, I know it's their food. And how they're refined here at Dice Zero and then shipped out to all the fortresses. Yes, I know that too. Everything about the pellets is top secret except for those well-known details. I wanted to ask you if you know what planet their food came from. Of course I know the planet. Uh, I think it's... Hold on. I don't. Smell eerie. The legendary merchant? Yes, he's supposed to be the only person who actually knows where the pellets come from. In fact, when DICE was formed, he apparently signed an exclusive contract stating that he would be the sole supplier. Did you say when DICE was formed? That was over 20 years ago, so do you think this famous merchant is still around? There's more legend than fact here. No one's sure whether or not this Smill guy ever really existed. There's no real proof of any of this. The supply routes are a closely guarded secret known only to a select few among DICE management. I've always wondered why the pellets have to be refined before they can be used. They have to be. Do you have any idea what would happen if you were to feed a dino breaker an unrefined pellet? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Good work, Moto Raptor. That was the last of the posts. We finished a lot quicker than I thought we would. Guess that means we win the race. And it's all thanks to you, buddy. Huh? Surprise, what are pellets doing here? Ugh, and look at them all! Ugh. Hmm, want some Motoraptor? Here you go, you deserve a treat. Ha, I bet there's nothing better than a pellet after a mission, huh? What's wrong, Motoraptor? Huh? Ah! Raptor! Captain? Captain! You're late, Jet. I have an emergency! What? You fed it an unrefined pellet? Yes, and as soon as I did, he went berserk! Of course it did. Dino breakers are mechanical life forms that originated in the wild. In order to control them, DICE has to suppress their natural savage tendencies. One of those methods is to refine their pellets. Oh no! What did I do to Motoraptor? Eating the unrefined pellet has released Motoraptor's wild nature. His wild nature? Listen, Jet. We have to get Motoraptor back before Yasutake Gate closes. are all loaded and ready, miss. All the pellets are secured and we're ready to go. GTR, guys. Now take us out and head for the rendezvous point. GTR. Bring me closer. I'll jump into the cockpit. Okay. Moto Raptor, calm down. Can't you hear me? Jet. Let's go, teammate Rover. Liver die.
Neil, the only one who can bring Motor Raptor under control is you, its pilot. Trust your friend and partner. Be unafraid, for Motor Raptor is lost to you if your heart wavers. Huh? Hold nothing back! A Dino Breaker and its pilot act together as one! Together as one? Huh. Raptor! Moto Raptor! Uh, what's he doing? Can't you tell it's me? I'm Jet! You know my voice, don't you? Listen, Motoraptor, I need you to wake up so we can get out of here. Come on, buddy. Jet! Motoraptor! I'm not leaving. Looks like you're back to your old self, Motoraptor. I'm happy to have you back. Hmm? But what was that light? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I thought that was your Hoverinkus, Captain Spike. He's Captain Spike? I wanted to check this planet out because you can only visit Yasutake once every 29 years, and that's how I just happened to overhear your communications. Ha 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 ha! Good thing too, cause you really helped. <laughs> 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 hmm, children, yes. But interesting. Oh yeah, very interesting, Smill Eerie. <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad to be back in familiar space. There's our fortress. Welcome back, guys. Thanks. Did everything go okay, Captain? Yeah, no problem. Mission complete. We were worried about you two. Not me. Can you imagine 29 years without Jack? That's not funny. 